welcome guys in our sql server tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn how to calculate the running total of your sales or cumulative sum of your sales so here i have connected my azure sql server to db visualizer and uh, i am going to show you a demo how can you calculate the running total or cumulative sum so here i am just a table so here you can see i have already created a employee table so i am going to use this table to show you how can you do that uh, how can you calculate the running total or cumulative sum in SQL so here I'm just going to show you a, a very simple example okay then I am going to pass the third row control V or just okay Okay, so if I'm going to execute this query, then you can see the output. Okay, so you can use the same query or you can create your own query. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass this value here. Okay, name. Okay, so if you want to get the running total of salary, then you can use this query. Okay, so I am going to use running running cell. This is the name of the column equal to sum cell okay and then i need to use power command then order by by id okay because i am using sum so i need to use group by command okay and then order by by id and comma your sum cell okay so i am just going to execute this query now you can see as a department yeah you can see this is the salary and this is the running salary then next row is 15,000 then it is going to be added in running total then 25,000 then 20 next then it is 45,000 okay suppose as it if I am going to add another row like this Control V and employee ID for XYZ and salary 8000. Then department going to change the department. Then you can see the output. If you want to find out running total by department wise then how can you do that then simply we are going to calculate the running total by department wise so what i need to do here so simply i am going to use partition or 
we are going to use partition by with the sum function like edge here we are going to say depth depth running cell okay then what I have to do here I'm just going to copy this command but uh, I I am going to use partition by because we want the running total by department wise so we are going to pass depth okay now if I am going to run this query then what will happen then you can see uh, for the id1 cell 10,000 running cell 10,000 and department running cell also 10,000 for the next row uh, because department is the same so running total is going to be 25,000 then department running salary also going to be 25,000 so next uh, next salary is 20,000 for same department so it is going to be 45,000 and department running cell also going to 45,000 now we, if we are talking about the fourth row you can see the department name id has been changed so the running total is uh, going to be added but for the department running salary cell is going to be start from 8000 so if i am going to add another row then what will happen okay so I'm just going to copy this again Control V and going to add one more row that is ID5 and the X uh, M and O that is the name cell is equal to 12,000 and we are going to use the same department 102 so if I am going to execute this statement then what will happen Now you can see the running total is uh, look like it is going to be added the next uh, salary but the department wise whenever the department is going to be changed it is going to be reset you can see 8000 and the row number 5 has, has the same department and the salary is 12,000 then 8 plus 12 equal to 20,000 but in running total is go it is going to be added so if you want to calculate uh, or add more parameters or um, for to calculate the running totals or cumulative sums then you can use it so guys you can see it is very easy to apply a running total or get the cumulative sum in SQL Server so we are coming with more queries in SQL Server so guys please subscribe my YouTube channel to and provide your comments also thank you for watching us